So I'm gonna be real honest with you guys. I'm not a big fan of this deep dish pizza wheels. Um, what, do, what do you call this? Stance? Stance Nation? Just look how stupid this is. How is he not? How is he not scraping there? Like this is why you can't. I guess it's on bags, is what I was told. But wait, how? Wait, you're gonna have to buy tires every three months because of this. Yeah, it is on bags. But this is why you can never find a 350Z that is in good condition because they all crap them out like this. And to be honest, the fitment isn't really well on this. This has got the fenders. And it's just, it's not done well, to be honest. I don't like the color on it, but if the owner's watching this and this is your car, I'm sorry. It's just, I'm not a fan. Not a fan of these either. You already have, I mean, I like the wheels on this. It doesn't look bad, but no need. It's still a Civic. You buy these when you want a good commute. You don't want to pay too much in gas. I know I joke about, oh my God, EG Civic is the greatest, but no, they suck. Here goes the rice out. Oh, he had to rev it. 2018 version rice. This guy's got the green and purple tinted headlights. Paul Walker quotes. If you got a Paul Walker quote on your car, pretty rice out. He had a coil over popping open his engine earlier. It's pretty ricey. The hood that has an air scoop for no for reason, the Galaxy covers, and of course, he's got a Paul Walker quote on it, so pretty ricey. He's got the Staline sticker on it, and it's not a, not a Staline, so 2018 version of rice. Fun fact about the 575 Super America is the top on this is all one piece. So it is on a 180 axle. So instead of like a folding top down, this, use my hand, it just, it folds backwards and it sits in this little compartment here. So. It's one of those things where Ferrari probably, you know, they already had the 575 out and they're like, let's, you know, make limited edition convertible Super America. And this is different than the 550 Barracuda where it's just, you put a piece of cloth over the top, but it can be used with the top down efficiently. And it looks good, it looks pretty smooth too. Uh, these were limited to 559 units and not a bad looking car. There's a couple of them in the area that I do know of. Look how large this Aston Martin is compared to my Miata. This thing is like massive, but at the same time, this is probably a lot more comfortable than the Miata. I was driving the Miata yesterday and after a couple of hours, the thing gets cramped. It's 
it's not a comfortable car to be honest. That's why if I ever drive, I went, I drove the Dream Ride. I had rented a car because I'm not taking that thing to Massachusetts. Hell no. Another Dodge Demon out here. This one still has the plastic on the seats, which is funny. It actually has a passenger seat. I'm waiting to see a Demon with no passenger seat, but starting to see a bunch of these. It's like every other Dodge dealer gets like three, so they're gonna be everywhere. I know they say they only made 3,000, but I don't know. If I believe that or not. Of me? Not a big fan of the yellow tape. Not at all. But they're cool little cars. They're still Dodge Challengers at the end of the day. So. Not much to say about that. Wonder what they're getting a shot of. Oh, it's just a Toyota. What is this? A BRZ FRS? You'll turn that hook. Love the enthusiasm. It took them a year, but this they've got better. They don't put a banner in the front of the windshield, which I just, I get it for advertising purposes, but that just ruined my photos. But again, I really like this photo, this color. And now that it doesn't have a banner in front of it, I can finally get some good photos of it, which I've been waiting to get. at 4.30. Rest in peace to this R8 with the Vornsteiner kit on it. If you look at it's missing the R10, it's got a little bit of carbon fiber damage to it. So I scraped something, the wheels are scraped. That's gotta suck. All in all, it is a good looking car. Love the color. With the Wayne Steiner. Like the wheels as well. I don't think he's going to the march in DC against guns today. This is what you do when you crave attention. That Mustang is actually more deadly than any gun out there. There we go, you don't see these often. GT2. You see GT3s everywhere, but not GT2s. 
I was told they only imported, what, like 200 of these? Yeah. In the United States, so you don't see a lot of them. I've actually, I've seen more GT2 RSs than I've seen GT2s. So, this is pretty cool. You see the aerodynamics in here. The air feeds into the engine. And then you've got air that feeds right here as well. And you've got the turbos that are right, right over here, which pretty cool but there's about eight feet of piping over here which is pretty cool and they don't make parts for these things anymore so if something breaks on here I was told you know source them from GT3 cup cars which is probably a pain but pretty cool so they're over there before promoting a cars and jet event so of course you have the jet driver right here actually I went to the aviation Smithsonian Museum about a couple of days I may go down there and upload a video from that so keep a lookout for that still have to go out there I actually went out there <laughs> I forgot my SD card like Screw me, right?